Good morning, guys. This is Rochelle here with the Hickok Homestead. Um, I know some of you guys are really excited about this video. It has officially been a week since we started the kombucha. And actually, two and a half weeks since we started this whole process in the first place. First was the SCOBY, which took about eight days. And then uh, I started the kombucha with that SCOBY and we are a week into the kombucha fermenting and getting processed and ready and I've tasted it it's ready and I'm excited to share this with you it's actually very simple um, because I'm not gonna flavor mine uh, I tasted it and it tasted delicious it, it tasted like a carbonated sweet tea and I think we're gonna be okay with it just being plain. Um, it personally was fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and you guys get to ride along while I go and bottle these up and you get to see me starting the next batch. All right, so as you can see, the kombucha is good. The scoby is looking really, really good. I'm really happy with my scoby. The whole point of with, with, your, with your kombucha when you bottle it up, I just used old bottles. I mean, we drink kombucha regularly, and so I had all these old glass bottles. I ran them through my dishwasher, and I sterilized them. I put the caps on, and they're ready to go. That way we get to reuse everything. And I'm probably only going to fill probably three of these, not all four. But I have them ready just in case. I found <laughs> this gigantic old funnel. It's the only... So that was fun. Mitch called <laughs> right when I was filming. So, uh, so I just saved these old jars. I'm probably not going to fill all of them. Probably two to three, actually. Uh, I'm just going to fill them because we actually... I, I, I like it plain. I'm pretty impressed with it just being plain. Uh, and I think Mitch will, too. I have my... I have stock of tea boiling right or simmering right now. I chose to do black this time instead of green and just to try it out, see how it tastes. We I think we like the green, so we'll try the black next, see if we like that, maybe do a combination. Who knows? So I'm just letting that simmer. Um I'm going to actually turn off the heat for it right now. I'm gonna add the sugar uh shortly after. Uh, let it cool down and then add it to the additional you want to leave a cup left of the kombucha so you don't want to drain it completely and you want to leave your scoby in here as well so why don't we get started helps if you guys aren't crooked technical difficulties alright I hope this funnel works we'll see just that simple. I just bottle them up and put them in my fridge and we get to enjoy them later on. I'll save this bottle and I have another one ready and I'll get my my uh, other kombucha, the tea. Uh, it looks like it's pretty good for right now. So that's it. 
Uh, I just poured them into the new bottles. Because I didn't want to add any flavor to it, it's just going to stay plain. I'm going to put them in the fridge and we'll enjoy them throughout the week. We actually still have some of the store-bought stuff, so it will last for quite a while. I'm sure after the store-bought stuff is done, we'll, I'll probably need to up it maybe to two containers a week. I might need to grow another SCOBY or take one off of our baby once it grows big enough. You never know. We'll see how it goes. I might, I'll do an update on it, how everything's going. But as you can see, it's carbonated. It's, it's really good. I really enjoyed it. So it should be really yummy. Uh, and I hope Mitch likes it. <laughs> He's on his way home, so we'll see. He'll probably try it shortly. Um, I'm just going to finish up with my tea bath right now. Um, it's, they're ready to come out actually, the black tea bags. Um, I'm going to add the sugar, let it cool down, and then add it to my one cup of um, already uh, the old kombucha. Um, and then my scobies in here as well. But remember, you don't want to add it when it's too hot. Uh, because you'll kill your scoby and the good bacteria. So definitely make sure it's nice and cool. Be extra cautious. Even, truthfully, I might go and have lunch with Mitch and then come back and do it. Just better safe than sorry, you know. So I'll set that all up. I hope you guys... If you guys are interested in learning how to make your own scoby and watch the first batch of kombucha I made, uh, I'll go ahead and put the links in the description below of those videos. It was really neat. I learned a lot about scoby and how kombucha is actually made and what it's actually made of. So it's really, really cool. Um, I will put that down below. Um, there's a lot going on today. Um, I actually uh, want to also do a follow-up on um, the sourdough. So, the sourdough. <laughs> um, so, uh, last night I started the sourdough and um, these videos will go ahead and explain that. Hey guys, Rochelle here. I'm making sourdough tonight, but I'm doing two batches, one for cinnamon and one for bread. And I quickly realized that I only have one bowl that is not metal. So I asked my neighbors and none of them had anything that was big enough or they all had metal also. So I was talking to my neighbor Liz and we came up with this ingenious, hopefully will work situation. Meet Frankenstein. <laughs> so this is my largest metal bowl and what I've done is I've taken the press and seal and I pressed it into it to seal it and on the other side is the smooth side. Now I'm also going to use wax paper, parchment paper, um, as an additional barrier in between. Uh, so when I am done with my cinnamon rolls, which will be my first batch, um, because truthfully if my cinnamon rolls don't get, get too big, I'm not going to stress, but if my bread doesn't get too big, I'll be a little upset. So uh, I'm going to line this after my cinnamon rolls are ready um, to rise for the night. I'm going to let it sit in here for the night, try to rise, and we'll see if this science experiment actually works. You will actually get to see the final product, so rock on. Now. Today, after uh, letting it rise all night, uh, I came down to go ahead and check on uh, this, the sourdough. Now, the bread one, where I put it in the chromatic um, bowl, blue bowl, that one was huge. It was like ginormous. It filled the entire bowl. It rounded very nicely. It was beautiful. Um, the cinnamon rolls, however, that mix was falling a little short. Uh, it definitely rose, but it didn't rise as much. So, so I, I wouldn't use that technique for, um, like loaves of bread. I would use it more for like cinnamon rolls or desserts or, or something like that where the rise isn't as important as, you know, in the long run. Um, so my loaves of bread are looking absolutely fabulous. They're rising as we speak. In fact, I think I need to give it more room than plastic. And my cinnamon rolls in the pans now 
uh, the glass pans are rising perfectly fine, just enough to make them really fluffy and yummy. So I think I'm gonna have to invest in some new tools for my kitchen, one being a glass, nice big glass bowl, so I can have a backup uh, just in case. Um, and then also a, a new funnel. Um, the funnel worked fine, but it's just it's a little too much for this job. So I'll have to also get a new plastic funnel. Um, so those are the updates for those. I'll show you pictures of the bread coming out of the oven. You'll get to see everything real time. Also, uh, I wanted to let you know there's going to be actually a video tomorrow going out. I'm going to do a video of what I did outside today and I'm going to post that tomorrow. Uh, new tea is in. Scoby is floating on top. Happy little Scooby. And uh, yeah, just that simple. Just that easy, everyone. I mean, compared to, you know, getting at the store, it, it's pennies. It's very simple. I mean, incredibly simple to make your own kombucha. In fact, Mitch is so excited, he wants me to start making another batch. Um, so we'll have a continual batch going on. Um, and I know that my neighbor will love it as well. So it goes, it goes without saying, it's a, it's a good thing. It's a really, really good, good process. Very simple and no joke making that batch was one cup of sugar, tea bags, and that was it. That, that, that's it. That's all. <laughs> and a little bit of earlier kombucha. So it, it, it's less than a dollar to make it yourself and I just got three bottles which you would buy at the store it would cost four to five dollars per bottle yeah makes sense oh my word look at these guys don't those just look delicious Awesome. They're perfect. Absolutely perfect. Mmm. They smell so good. Oh my goodness. So, so good. Mmm. And I just put the bread in. I'm gonna put the dinner rolls in after the bread. And I'll be done baking for the day. Woohoo! There's the bread. Looking good. Yum. Turn it out well. Yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, please hit the like button, subscribe, and share. And as always, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later. Bye.